Welcome back. The first ever Go Godot Jam has been announced. The game jam you've been waiting for. The theme will be announced on May 24th and game developers from all around the world will have 10 days to make a cool game using the Godot engine. What's unique about this game jam is that leading up to the starting day there will be pre-jam events such as live streams and video premieres about the Godot engine made by different Godot creators. I will link the full list of pre-jam events as well as the Go Godot Jam page down in the description. The Godot's number 10 has been published. This issue, he examined Godot's history on GitHub. GitHub's API fought with him every step of the way in getting this data. The yellow area represents the number of merged pull requests over time. Basically, every time something was fixed or a new feature was added. The blue line represents the number of issues over time, or how many bugs or reported feature requests there were. This vertical purple line marks the creation of Godot's Patreon. As you can see, proper funding increased development speed dramatically. There's a ton more interesting data points in the full report. I will link it down in the description. A new variable rename feature is coming to Godot. Rename your variable in one place, and it will also rename that variable anywhere else it exists. This preview is running in Visual Studio Code, but this feature will work in all editors that support language servers. Union Bytes is working on a tool made with the Godot engine to create textures for 3D models. You simply import the 3D model and begin painting your texture. Since the tool itself is made using the Godot engine, the preview you see should be pretty accurate to how your model will look in-game. The tool is still in pre-alpha. Here's something you don't see all that often. Friday Night Funkin' VR is a virtual reality game made with the Godot engine. Office Point Rescue is an arcade action first-person shooter. You must infiltrate the building, dispatch the terrorists, and rescue any surviving hostages. Odd Adventure is a lore-rich, turn-based, crazy RPG set in a cursed fairy tale world. Fight your inner demons and reach for the spark of hope, or stare directly into the abyss. Zombie Zone is a low-poly, 3D, top-down shooter. The developer plans to eventually make it multiplayer, but wants to first make sure that the game is fun against bots. Hellron is a retro-styled, first-person shooter. That's all there for you this week. Like the video, leave a comment for the algorithm. Thanks for watching.